Psycho and Tony again and um, today we're going to be answering questions about love like we've got a lot of inboxes but we thought that we'll specialise our answers today on the love questions that we've got the first question was um, how do you get over an ex you're still intimately involved with hmm it's a hard Tony, one do you know anything? well <laughs> Um, to be honest, I think that you need to cut all ties with the person involving the intimacy bit because mm -hmm. that ain't going to help you and... If you keep getting under them, how do you expect to get over them? That is a good... That is... Keep That's, that in your just mind, Just keep honey. that. Keep it. Because yeah. basically, if they don't want to be with you outside officially, then they have no right to be with you Nothing. inside. It's literally, they're just using you for the meanwhile. And even because your heart is with them, they're just using you, like, just for the for the sex, basically. They're just using you for that. Yeah. So you need to identify yourself, tell them, you want to be with me, be with me, and everyone will know. Like, obviously, if you want to keep to yourself, keep to yourself, but don't the get, don't, not problem, trust not me, just don't get used because it's not nice. Don't get used, just don't. Yeah, just don't get you used, trust me. Yeah. Um, what else? Like, if you're if they're your ex, number one, you should have a certain boundary with them. I'm not saying you can't be friends, but you need to make a boundary where like you need to trust yourself as well. Like you should be able to be with them alone and talk, call your friends. But if you know you can't control yourself, oh honey, you need to just keep it stepping and keep yourself away from them because it's dangerous. You'll just end up getting hurt and you'll be sad and yeah, that's it. Really. They might get hurt as well if you've got an aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah. The second question is <laughs> the second question is um, what do you do when someone you love has moved on before you have? Oh, this question. Ah, it's a bit um really close to home. Me. Yeah. Um, whoever sent it, um, think think where soulmates. But yeah. Um, the thing is, like, when someone has moved. What's the question again? When someone's someone's moved on before you, you do. yeah well come from personal experiences like what you need to do is like you need you need to just understand who you are really because if they've moved on then that means that you was holding on to something that wasn't there and that is really dangerous like psychologically that is really dangerous you need to just get yourself together and just be like right time to move on because you can go for a year thinking you two are still you still got something but nothing's actually going to happen mm -hmm. and like this relates to the first question as well you could be thinking something's going to happen because you two are um, sexually or intimately together but the other person's got other, other plans they could be having another agenda another girl whatever they want to be doing secret creeping trifling whatever you want to call it so but on the yourself. other on the other side of the whole thing, if the person has moved on, maybe what you was holding on to just wasn't actually there. I mean, I've experienced when the person is still holding on even though I've moved on. Mm. Are you alright, Psycho? No, it's just like it's just really sad because it's just sad because like sometimes you really just think you're gonna be with someone forever and like they just Oh my god, come here. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm no, it's just like, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, but it's just like, okay. you know when you just really think you're going to be with someone for the rest of your life, and like, every day you talk about them, okay, hold on, this is getting a bit too personal, but every day you just think that you're going to be with them, and you think, oh, we've got the best thing going on, we don't need to be together right now, that... But you just need to know yourself really because you're just gonna get hurt and really like heartbroken and it's gonna scar you for life like personal mm -hmm. experience is gonna scar you for life like you really don't ugh, can't believe i just did that but whew, yeah just know yourself seriously that like, know who you are and what you be want strong. be and strong no, you don't need anybody you don't you seriously don't like relationships are really good but you need to know that you can stand strong by yourself first before you get into a relationship Definitely. And that is coming from Psycho and Tony, real to you, raw, raw fresh off the straight. press, out the oven, whatever. So um. I hope you take that as whatever you want to take that with, and good luck in the future. Mm -hmm. I hope we've answered your question as well as possible. This is from our experiences. Mm -hmm. And we're not saying that you shouldn't fall in love or you shouldn't want to be with people. But just, just be smart and be have respect smart, for yourself. Respect, that's the main thing. Because you just don't want to get used, number one. Exactly. You don't want to have a broken heart. And you don't want to be bitter to love because exactly. that's that the worst thing ever. Because you just might miss the person you're meant to be with. So, yeah, that's what we just come to tell you guys. Hope we answered your questions. 
and we've got more answers coming to you from questions with different topics but today we're specializing in love and, and relationships yeah bye guys bye